we're used to trying to get all our reliability from the grid. Uh, so if the grid goes down, nothing works. Right. And in fact, 98 or 99 percent of the power failures we experience originate in the grid. Hmm. So the closer <clears throat> we move the supply to the user, like on your roof or in your basement, the less there is to go wrong between it and what you want to do with the electricity. But meanwhile, we're re-architecting our end of the grid, the customer end, to be more resilient. Our, our own house up in the Rocky Mountains works fine with or without the grid. Mm. Uh, sometimes we figure out there was a power failure, but we didn't experience it. Right, yeah. Uh, but you can kind of look outside and see your neighbor's lights are off. Uh, well, you can also design individual building systems like that, so the resilience is, say, built into your lights. Whatever goes wrong, the lights still work. Uh, and the, the this way of thinking is called the nano grid, where the, the control, uh, the ability to uh, connect the service with different kinds of supply that are right there, maybe storage, that's all at the customer end. Mm. Like, this is a nanogram. It can couple to an external power source. It has its own supply. It manages its own power use. It provides the service. That's all in one little package. They can be that small. Right, right. Uh, that would be a pico grid, I think they yeah, call it. Yeah, a now. pico grid. So, as, as, we, uh, as we get that distributed intelligence and coordination, at the customer end of the circuit, we care a lot less about how reliable the grid is. Mm -hmm. And we can pay less for less reliable grid electricity and still get all the reliability we want uh, in the services we need. It sounds counterproductive to say that a less reliable national grid is the best thing. Well, it could be a lot cheaper and easier to achieve and still do the job if you move the resilience out to the customers. And you have to because there's so much to go wrong between the power plant and the customers. Right, right. So if the That's customers' the houses or buildings is. are stable and they've got nice reliable power thanks to a local battery, and of course you combine that with if they have local solar or other local generation, yeah. uh, you get both benefits of both worlds. Yeah. Exactly. Well, Emery, thank you so much. I really appreciate chatting with you again. You're welcome. As always.